Hillary Clinton is finishing a two-day campaign trip to Florida. A new poll out this morning shows that Donald Trump with a two-point lead there. More than 1.6 million people in Florida have already cast their votes. Both parties are seeing an increase in early turnout. That's compared to 2012. Nancy Cordes is in Lake Worth, Florida. That's north of Miami, where Clinton will hold her first event of the day. Nancy, good morning. Good morning. You know, it's rare for Clinton to spend two straight days in one state, but that's what she's doing here in Florida because it's the largest battleground state and because early in-person voting is underway. It started on Monday, and her campaign believes that six in ten Florida voters will end up voting early. So this is the time to reach them. Just hours before her 69th birthday, Clinton got a political gift, an endorsement from British superstar Adele to a packed Florida arena. Don't vote for him, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Clinton herself was in the crowd. The pop star's plea to 20,000 fans comes at a time when Clinton is trying to convince Floridians to, yes, vote early. That includes Florida's Latinos, whose early votes by mail are up 90% from 2012. Feliz cumple. Earlier, Clinton made an unscripted visit to a popular Univision show where she danced with the posts and was presented with tequila and a birthday cake. Clinton did not bring up the Obamacare rate hikes Tuesday, but she was asked about them in a Miami radio interview and gave vague assurances she would fix things. The costs have gone up too much. So we're going to really tackle that. Her campaign is now contending with a new WikiLeaks flap, a hacked email that appears to contradict President Obama's answer to CBS's Bill Plant in March of 2015. When did you first learn that Hillary Clinton used an email system outside the U.S. government for uh, official business while she was Secretary of State? Uh, at the same time, uh, everybody else learned it through news reports. Within minutes of that interview, Clinton's former chief of staff, Cheryl Mills, emailed the campaign chair. We need to clean this up. He has emails from her. They do not say state.gov. Trump, words, also in Florida, pounced. Obama, he had to know that Hillary was using an illegal server, but he claimed otherwise. So that means Obama is now into the act. Clinton got a low-key endorsement Tuesday from a high-profile source. Colin Powell said at a luncheon on Long Island that he will vote for Clinton because Trump, quote, insults us every day. Charlie. Thanks, Nancy.